The city of Dallas has a bold new idea to impose a bar curfew in Dallas. Depending on your take, it could force your favorite spot for a drink to close much earlier than you like, or it could cut noise and traffic near your home. New for you here at 10 o'clock, Jeff Paul, live in Uptown to talk about this idea. Well, Kaylee, the council member behind the idea says it's partially in reaction to concerns over bigger and louder crowds here along McKinney Avenue. But some of the bar owners we spoke with tonight say it could end up costing them. Monday night at the Standard Pour in Uptown, and these bartenders have a long night ahead of them. They'll be shaking and stirring until 2 a.m., no matter how busy. You're talking thousands of dollars of, of revenue. That Co-owner Brian McCullough is worried he could lose two hours if a newly proposed midnight closing time overlay is approved in Dallas. It sort of feels like somebody telling you what to do with your business. The amendment would allow a creation of geographical boundaries where businesses within those boundaries would have to apply for a special use permit. Having to go through another approval process doesn't necessarily guarantee you no. It also doesn't guarantee a yes, and that certainly raises concerns. <laughs> Council member Philip Kingston says it's not a curfew. It's a tool certain neighborhoods could choose to utilize. It's very similar, he says, to what's happening in Lower Greenville. If you don't open up all of the zoning, if you're only talking about late hours use, then it becomes a very fine edge tool. It's a scalpel instead of a chainsaw. Kingston insists it's illegal under state law to force all bars to close at midnight. All this is is enabling legislation. This doesn't change any zoning on the ground. McCullough says he wants a safe environment too. Feels just as invested as those who call the area near his bar home. And I don't see it being necessary, but I do understand the concerns. Now, Kingston says it still has to get through a committee and then a commission before getting a vote from council. Reporting live here in Uptown Dallas, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.